Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. William Jackson, better known as Pepper LaBeja, was a fashion designer, stylist, drag performer, and mother of the House of LaBeja, considered the first and one of the most influential houses in the house and ball system. House and ball culture is a black and Latino extension of drag pageants that have been awarding black and brown LGBTQ contestants in the United States since the early 1970s. Pepper LaBeja was considered one of the last drag queens from the original golden age of the Harlem Balls of the 60s and 70s. These drag balls were beauty pageants that were formed for drag queens of color after Pepper's house mother, Crystal LaBeja, endured biased judging from a mostly white panel of judges in a prior pageant. The Royal House of LaBeja is considered the first house in the entire house system formed after, with many houses choosing names that attributed iconic fashion houses or that sounded grandiose and powerful. Though Pepper LaBeja identified as a man, she preferred she and her pronouns, raising her daughter with her lifelong companion Pamela Jackson. In the early 1980s, Pepper would take lead of the House of LaBeja and would continue to host and compete in drag balls throughout New York, which inevitably gained major popularity in the following decade. The term house mother was coined because of the family structure that was cultivated in the houses like La Beja, particularly for black and brown LGBTQ people who had been kicked out of their own homes and communities of origin for their sexuality or gender expression. Because the concepts of houses and families became a success for the royal family of La Beja and other houses that formed soon after, House and ball culture became a safe space for LGBTQ people of color in major cities to find community and celebrate each other. La Beja was the largest house in all of New York for many years, and Pepper alone won over 250 trophies throughout her career. The House of La Beja was also said to be a house that came up with many of the first major categories that are still in the competitions today. Pepper La Beja's signature style and motif was fashion odes to Egyptian culture, incorporating metallics and gold into her dresses and outfits, which she designed and created herself. Even her makeup choices seemed to be inspired by the hieroglyphs of the pharaohs. La Beja would become one of the standout cast members of the iconic and groundbreaking documentary Paris is Burning, which highlighted the golden era of ball culture that culminated in 1980s New York. The film would give voice to an incredibly resilient group of black LGBTQ people who had formed a unique subculture that for almost a decade had gone unrecognized by the larger heteronormative society. And while most representation of gay people in the made mainstream media at the time had been white, Paris's burning showed black and brown gay couples and trans women discussing their journeys with transitioning. The structure of the house and ball system that Pepper LaBeja helped create not only was able to shine in the landmark documentary, but also became the blueprint for the house and ball system to go national in the next decade and international in the next. La Beja has an incredible legacy and is still one of the largest and most recognizable houses in the house and ball system currently, being run by drag race alum Aja La Beja. It's thanks to queens like Pepper La Beja that house and ball culture has grown to such enormous heights, giving black and brown LGBTQ people a platform to perform and share our talents with the world.